Okay then, we're asked to simplify this expression. 2x squared plus 3x all over 2x plus 3 times x minus 2 minus 6 all over x squared minus x minus 2. Well, the first thing I'd want to do is to factorize the top here and also to factorize this quadratic expression here. Now, I would encourage you to write an identical sign rather than an equal sign. You're not going to lose marks if you do write equals, but it's best if you do write identical because it's not an equation. So, factorizing the top, what have we got? Well, there's a common factor here of x, so we'll just pull that out. We've got x bracket 2x plus 3, and then that's going to be all over another 2x plus 3 multiplied by x minus 2. Now for this next term we've got minus 6 and the quadratic expression factorizes there's no common factor here but it's two brackets and you're going to have an x and an x to give us the x squared. What are we going to need to have inside the brackets? We're going to need a minus 2 and a plus 1. If you check that out you will get x squared minus x minus 2 when you expand it. Now this is quite handy. You can see that we've got a common factor now top and bottom. We've got the 2x plus 3. So 2x plus 3 into 2x plus 3 goes 1 and it goes into that one once. And I'd encourage you to put ones there rather than just drawing a line through it. It almost looks otherwise that you've got it wrong and you've just crossed it out. So as I say, I'd encourage you to put ones there. So we now need to group these two terms together, put them over a common denominator, preferably the lowest common denominator, the lowest common multiple of x minus 2 and this factor here, x minus 2 and x plus 1. What would it be? Well, we can see that if we were to take our first term, x over x minus 2, then we can create exactly the same denominator as this one if we multiply top and bottom by x plus 1. So I'll just put that in there, x plus 1 over another x plus 1. In fact, I prefer really not to have that time sign in there. I'm just going to take it out, not that it was wrong, but uh, it just looks better, I think, without the time sign. And We'll just copy this other term in, minus 6 over x minus 2 and then x plus 1. Okay, now we can see that they both share exactly the same common denominator of x minus 2, x plus 1. So we can put that all over that denominator now. Let's just put it underneath here, x minus 2, x plus 1. So on the top here, we've got just x multiplied by the x plus 1, and then we've got minus the 6. OK? Let's expand this out now. So this is identical to x squared plus x minus 6, all divided by x minus 2, x plus 1. Now the question did say simplify as much as possible, so there's a temptation to think that this quadratic expression on the top should factorize, and maybe it's got one of the factors that we see below here. So let's just see what we've got here. A couple of brackets, an x and an x two numbers that multiply together to give us the minus 6. Could be a 3 and a minus 2. Yes it is, 3 and a minus 2. When they subtract they give us a 1 or 1x. One so it's going to be x plus 3 and x minus 2 on the top. And that's all divided by x minus 2 and x plus 1. And just as we kind of thought, okay, you can see that we've got a common factor here of x minus 2. So we can cancel that one out with that one. So what we're left with is x plus 3 on the top all over x plus 1. 
You can put these in brackets if you like. You don't have to. I'm just going to leave it like that. Okay, so there you go. That's it simplified.